So, last time we uh, looked at two different ways of randomization in a dynamic game, particularly in a multi act game, and the two different ways of randomization were behavioral strategies. and mixed strategies. Mixed strategy was a random choice of a pure strategy, randomly chosen pure strategy. So, you randomize over the set of pure strategies. So, you, you uh, uh, randomly uh, chosen choose pure strategy. And a behavioral strategy was that you at each information set, information set choose an action at random. Okay. Now, and what we saw what was uh, that uh, these two can actually be from very different spaces. Okay, so, there is uh, you cannot directly talk of uh, you know uh, some kind of uh, interchangeability between them. Uh, the number of parameters that define a behavioral strategy and a mixed strategy could be very different, but we asked for what is called equivalence. Equivalence was where, so equivalence was that regardless of uh, of the pure or uh, the behavioral or mixed strategy played by other players, by other players, uh, a, a behavioral strategy for player i was equivalent to a mixed strategy of, uh, of player i if you had the following. So, the probability of reaching a node x under behavioral strategy b i while others play behavioral or mixed strategy mu minus i was equal to the probability that of reaching that node x when player i plays mixed strategy b i and others play mu, I, mu minus i. This has to be true for all mu minus i and for all and for all nodes x. Okay. So, in short regardless of the behavioral strategy uh, or mixed strategy that others play the probability that you reach a node uh, that you reach a node x has to, is to be the same under the uh, under the behavioral strategy of player i and uh, and under the mixed strategy of player i then the behavioral and mixed strategies b i and sigma i are, are is said to be equivalent. And what we saw was that there are examples of either kind. Uh, be, uh, an example where for every behavioral strategy there need not exist a mixed strategy and for every mixed strategy there need not exist a behavioral strategy okay so these are these so this is what we ended with last time okay so uh, i also defined for you what is called a game of perfect recall and essentially a game of perfect recall was this uh, uh, had uh, had the property that so a player i had perfect recall if you had this property firstly that two nodes cannot follow each other in the same information set. So, if they are in if two nodes are in the same information set then there cannot be a path leading from one node to the other. Okay. Secondly, if there are two nodes in the same information set let us say x x dash and x double dash the, these are in the same information set and then there is a if x is the is a predecessor of x uh, x dash then there, uh, there must also exist a predecessor x hat of x double dash that is in the same information set as x and the action that you take at x and the, uh, leading to x dash and the action that you take at x hat leading to x double dash should be the same. Okay? You can go back to the notes of the previous class to see the formal definition. So, basically what this meant was that the player did not forget that he acted, he does not forget what he knew and he does not forget the action that he is take, taken all of this. Uh, so, a player is able to recall all of this. So, what I will discuss today is what is called Kuhn's theorem. So, these are two there are two parts to this. This Kuhn is the same as the uh, Kuhn from 
Kuhn Tucker conditions uh, or Karush Kuhn Tucker conditions in optimization. So, Kuhn's theorem basically gives us uh, conditions under which behavioral strategies and mixed strategies are equivalent. Okay, and you will see that the conditions have something eventually to do with memory. Okay, so the first part of, of Kuhn's theorem or first of Kuhn's theorem, let us say, is uh, concerns when does every behavioral strategy have an equivalent mixed strategy. Okay, so this is for every behavioral strategy as an equivalent mixed strategy. Okay, so, this is what uh, this is the case that this theorem this this theorem is concerned with. Okay. So, the theorem is this suppose each path from root to leaf to a leaf node intersects an information set of player i at most once, then every behavioral strategy of player i has an equivalent mixed strategy. Okay. So, this is the uh, this is the statement. Now, if you remember the example that we took where uh, the there was a behavioral strategy that did not have an equivalent mixed strategy, what was that example? Do you remember that what the example was? So, so the example was something like this. So, there it was the example was of this absent minded driver right he had he took. So, he start you start from this node here and uh, the both these nodes are in the same information set. So, so when player uh, when the driver takes a left turn he does not recall that he has taken a left turn he gets uh, the game moves on to the next node. And uh, and then again, he has the same set of choices. However, if he takes the right turn, he uh, the the game ends. Then, right? So in this case, you, we what we saw was that it is impossible for us to get the outcome. So I think we had named these outcomes O1, O2, O3. And we saw what we saw was that it is impossible to reach O2 for the driver to ever reach O2 with any with any pure strategy. Because a pure strategy would mean that he plays either L, he has only two pure strategies either L or R. If he plays L here, then he come at this at this information set, then he plays what that means is he is playing L and then again playing L because he is in the same information set and that brings him to O1. If he is playing R, then he goes to O3 directly, right. So, there is no way he can reach O2. So, in short, there is it is it's impossible to reach O2 using uh, pure strategies and therefore using mixed strategies also. However, it was possible to reach O2 using a different form of randomization, which is through big behavioral strategies, right. Okay. This was the example and it turns out that this is only this is the only case where this fails. Okay. So, the, so what the what Kuhn's theorem says is that suppose if you if you have uh, if you uh, make sure this does not happen, which is that the path that a path that there is there is uh, you cannot have a case where there is a path from a root load uh, root node to the leaf node that passes through an information set twice. Okay, so that intersects an information set of player i uh, more uh, more than once. Then there is a then then every behavioral strategy of player i will have an equivalent mixed strategy. Okay, all right. So let's let's prove this now. So first, I think before we get on to proving any of this, first I uh, you should have need to have clarity about how what how do we compute the probability of reaching reaching a node x under any strategy combination that players could play, 
okay. So, mu is com a combination of mixed or behavioral strategies of all players and I am talking I want to ask what is the probability that you reach a node x. Let us go uh, let us go step by step and set up some notation. Suppose mu is any uh, combination of um, combination of behavioral of mix. Combination means some players may be playing behavioral, some players may be playing mix. It is just a notation for uh, for that. Okay. Players can play whatever they want. Uh, so, the, we are con considering some combination like this. Okay. Okay. So, for, uh, first to begin with, uh, let us first set up some notation. Okay. So, suppose x is some node. Okay, x is suppose some node, this is some node x and then on the path from x to some leaf node there is another node x hat. Okay. Now, x is suppose a node of player i. Now, player i if you look at the path there is a path going from x to x hat and then further down to you know to some leaf node right. And play, then when player i takes and uh, has several actions at x. Okay. But there will be a unique action that leads you to x hat has to be because it is after all a path right it has to be there is a one one specific action which takes you to x hat ok. So, that action let us call let us use that uh, let us denote that action a i of x arrow x hat ok. So, this is the action at x leading to x hat. Suppose I take some node x here ok which is where we want to compute this probability. Now, suppose player i. So, now this is so let us say the root node ok. Now, player i will play at several nodes on the way from root to this node x right along this path ok. Now, let that path be denoted by let suppose there are say l i x many nodes ok. So, these many equal to nodes equal to let us say equal to number of nodes from root from root to x ok and the path actual path uh, 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 actual nodes along the path from root to x where player i plays let us denote them by this. So, x i 1 to x i l i x. So, this is nodes on the path from root to x where player i acts. Ha, on which player i plays on which p i acts ok. Yeah. So, these are the nodes on the path from root uh, root to x where player i acts. Now, uh, one thing to note here is see these nodes. Uh, so, x itself need not be a node where player i acts ok. x is just some node in the in the tree where we want to compute this probability. All right. So, question uh, these are just the nodes along this path where player i is acting. So, this is the history of the game along which player i has uh, is uh, uh, the, the state history of the game along which player i has played. Someone else had a question sorry what uh, about uh, no it is not an assumption it is uh, see it is it follows from because it is a tree you know. So, from x to x hat when you are going from x to x hat right. So, suppose here is uh, here is x and here is x hat then you there is a, there is exactly one action that you can take to go from x to x hat. No, no not immediate next not necessary see but, but it is a tree. So, it has to be that there is a unique action which takes you uh, to x hat because it is a tree. See if, if there are if there is more than one action suppose you could go like this way and then this way and then this way and then this way, then it is not a tree anymore. 
so it has to be uh, there has to be a unique action hmm? okay so let's come to this let's first write out this this term this is the probability of reaching node x when players play some strategies randomized strategies mu now can you decompose this in some way can it be decomposed let's say along the the history or the path that leads from root to x but you need some strategy for ti as well this is all this is this comprises of all this is mu1 to mu n so some may be playing mix some may be playing behavioral here from the root when everyone is played playing mu1 to mu1 yeah, so there is a sequence of actions right the right yeah but then there is a sequence of action okay so the probability of first let's think for in fundamentals so for what is the probability of reaching a node x well to reach that node you have to take a sequence of actions okay you means all the players have to take a sequence of actions right so it is equal to the probability that the first action is taken second action is taken third action is taken etc right so the probability that the entire path from the root to x is is traversed with those actions okay that is that's that much is clear now so this is therefore the probability that or in short all actions to x from the root are taken under mu okay now so this is the probability that all such all the actions leading from root to x are taken now so therefore this is a probability of this is a probability of the and of several events you and first action is taken second action is taken etc now does this decompose in any way ha huh. does it decompose over uh, over the actions can we say the following so here is the basic question is this equal to the product of the probability of taking action 1 uh, so let's say probability of taking action 1 times probability of taking action 2 etc why are they not independent okay why what does that do well you one is playing to mix strategy hmm then he has a probability allocation over a total given comma hmm hmm so if even is taken the conditional probability hmm is now fixed okay very good so so this is important see i can't decompose this over the actions and the reason for that is these can mu can be both mixed and behavioral strategies so what if it is a mixed strategy for example so what mixed strategy will tell you for every information set what the what action is to be to, taken right that's a one specification sorry a pure strategy will tell you for every information set what action is to be taken a mixed strategy is just a random choice of a pure strategy so suppose this pure strategy is chosen okay the one that i have marked this red pure strategy which chooses this action here and this action here then the probability of choose and suppose these two actions are on the path leading to x then the probability of choosing these two actions let's say action a1 and action a2 is equal to the probability of choosing that mixed strategy you can't multiply this times this because probability of choosing a1 and a2 is the probability of choosing that mixed strategy so when you choose a mixed strategy all these actions get chosen together is it clear this product is basically will end up uh, double count or double multiplying essentially the same probability you will write something for a1 then you will write the same term again for a2 whereas a1 and a2 are being chosen together in, if there is a mixed strategy is this clear so in short we cannot decompose this along the actions in that path but we can decompose uh, over players because after all actions are being chosen some set of actions are being chosen the actions chosen by player 1 are chosen independently of the actions chosen by player 2 and so on is this clear 
So, we can write this as the following. So, the probability that player i chooses actions leading to x under his own strategy now mu i and the product over this from 1 to n. So, the actions of player the actions that player i have has chosen they are that the probability with which those are being chosen are is independent of the probability with which the other players are choosing the uh, so that that event is independent of the uh, choices of the other players. So, there is this decomposition therefore over players ok all right. So, good. So, now essentially what we are what we are concerned about therefore is this we need this we need to get a handle on this one the probability of choosing actions leading to a node by a particular player considering that considering whether he is playing a big strategy or a behavioral strategy ok. So, that is what we are going to come to. So, now let let me ask you this. So, I will let us set up a notation for this let us this particular uh, thing this component of it this contribution let us call this probability of p i of x given sorry mu i ok. So, this is that this is the component uh, this sorry I should probably use some other not I let me use prob here instead of prob p this is the contribution of of uh, player player i's uh, thing in this in this whole sum ok. So, prob i of x given mu i is the probability of taking actions leading to x by player i when he is randomizing using strategy mu i. This is clear? Yeah. Okay. All right. So now let's take be more specific. Suppose, suppose, suppose player i plays um, um, let's say a mixed strategy sigma i. a mixed strategy sigma i. Then what is this probability marginal what marginal How, uh, no I want to express this now in terms of sigma i. I am telling you he is playing a mixed strategy. So, so summation over mm. you don't have a notation okay. ok. So, let us write out some notation. So, remember gamma i is the set of your strategies of player i ok and let us write gamma i of x ok is this is the set of pure strategies of player i uh, gamma i of x is the set of pure strategies of player i where player i takes actions leading to x ok. Now, where does he take these actions leading to x remember this these actions are being chosen at these nodes right this these were the nodes on the path from root to x where player i was acting at these nodes he has to take those particular actions ok. So, the pure strategies that prescribe that those actions at those nodes are all included in this set gamma i of x clear ok all right.